We let him cook, chat. Are we letting him cook? Are we letting him cook, chat? Are we are we let are we letting him cook? Are are are, are we letting him cook? Hi everyone, I'm Emil Stonic, editor at large at Bon Appetit, and this oh, this is what this nigga looks like. Okay, now we know. Is almost every way to cook salmon. There's a whole lot of fish in this. We're gonna fucking think of for six pieces. Voila, salmon. Y'all like y'all like salmon? Y'all y'all fuck with salmon? Sashimi. So this is just salmon. Nothing. See, look, there's not, nothing wrong with this salmon. It's nice. Nothing. Nothing's wrong in this video so far. Else, mmm, that salmon is so rich. You're really tasting all of that fat. It's really meaty and clean tasting and extremely I'm tender. It's hard to imagine cooking it when it's so delicious this way. Ceviche. Okay, we're gonna remove the skin again because the skin will be tough. She if tried it's not nothing cooked. wrong. We're gonna cut our salmon into a quarter inch dice, hit it with some salt, and then squeeze the juice of this lemon over top. We'll let that sit for a few minutes before tasting to let the acid from the citrus kind of cook the salmon. Wow, you can see that the. I'm not gonna lie, ceviche is torch. I don't be eat fucking with the raw salmon. I mean, I eat sushi though, so there, there a lot of some of that be uh, a lot of that be raw salmon though, so. But like, damn, just lemon, like salmon drenched in lemon juice. The colors change I somewhat. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. A lot of people fuck with the, the raw salmon, just eat the raw salmon by itself. That's the acid interacting with the protein. Mmm. The texture is definitely firmer than the sashimi. It's not the best fish for the job. Ceviche is typically made with a leaner, flakier fish, but this is still very tasty. Cured salmon. We've got brown sugar, we've got salt, we've got some dill, and we're gonna mix that all together. Then we're gonna pack it around the salmon and wrap it up really tightly, uh -huh. and then weigh it down with this pan and pop it in the fridge to cure. Okay, hold now on, that it's been cook. sitting for a couple of days, we're gonna unpack our salmon. Days? It's kind of a sticky mess. We're gonna cut a few thin slices. Homemade Gravlox. It's darkened slightly and gone kind of matte thanks to the salt and the sugar cure. Mmm, it's delicious. Huge, oh, sweet, salty flavor no. with an incredibly oh, no silky one. texture. Like smoked salmon without the smoke. Pan seared salmon. Doesn't get much more straightforward than this, folks. We're gonna season our fish on both sides with salt, add a little oil to our super hot pan, and then so far, gently though, place our fish in here skin side down. We're gonna use a fish spatula to apply a bit of light pressure to keep the skin from curling up, and then let it cook on the skin side about 90% of the way and then flip it just to kiss the other side. This is how most people cook their salmon. Other side. Ta-da! Pan seared salmon. Damn, that skin looks- I don't think he put no type of anything on there, so that shit look dry as fuck. Crispy. You can actually hear it crackle when you cut it. And the inside is beautiful, just barely cooked through. Mmm. It's moist and juicy. You Nothing wait fancy, till we get the, just I hope there's no toaster. Simple, delicious, perfectly cooked salmon. Cold pan salmon. Okay, similar, but totally different. We're gonna season our fish on both sides. Why does he just add salt to everything, nigga? Like, like that's the only thing, bro. Get a bit of oil into this room temperature pan, okay. place our fish skin side down, and crank the heat. This way, the fish will cook a bit more slowly as the pan heats up, Chad, and the fat and skin will render and crisp up gradually. Flip it over for just a second, and it's good to go. The skin looks nice and... Huh? Wait. Flip it over for just a second, and it's good to go. For just a second? The skin looks nice and crispy, but not quite as crispy as our hot pan method. The inside looks perfect. Mmm. It's almost as good as our hot pan salmon. The skin is my only complaint. Pan fried salmon. This time Ooh, we're gonna let, let, pan fried. Let him cook, let him cook. Season our salmon, dredge it in some flour, oil our hot pan, and lay our fish skin side down in it. We're gonna slip a few tables. Most restaurants only season meats with salt and pepper so the protein flavor shines through. Mmm, interesting. Spoons of butter in here. Flip our fish and then baste it a bit with the foaming butter while it finishes. Mmm, that smells great. That might be the good. The filet took on color a lot more quickly than our other pan methods, and that's because of the flour and the brown butter. He threw and a bristle yeah, part, the inside is a bit rare, but if we had left it in the pan, it would have burned. Mmm. Yum. It's still tasty, even though it's so rare, but at the end of the day, I don't think that the flour helped our cause. Salmon burger. We're gonna take the skin off and cut it into chunks. We're gonna take a third of it and process it to a paste, which is gonna act as a binder. Then we're gonna pulse the rest of the fish so it's still kind of chunky, scrape it into a bowl, add a bit of mayo and some salt. And oh, no, I'm good. I'm a pass personally. <laughs> I'm a pass personally. Y'all got that though. You know what I'm saying? I, I, mean, soon, I left as soon as you said mayo. I'm a pass personally on those, but you know. Uh, 
Y'all got good. those. Y'all got it. Fish, so it's still kind of chunky. Let them cook. Scrape it into a bowl. Add a bit of mayo and some salt, and then form it into patties and let them chill to firm up. Now that it's been a few hours, we're gonna lightly flour the patty, get some oil into the pan, and carefully sear it on both sides. Here comes the flip. Beautiful. Hey, that might be good though, but mayo, mayo salmon patties just, I don't know, that don't sound like my type of vibe. Full. I'm good. The outside those. looks nicely browned and crisp thanks to the flour, and the inside looks tender. Mmm. Those fish sandwiches, I don't like fish sandwiches. Pretty tasty. But the texture leaves something to be desired. This would maybe be a great way to gussy up some cheap or even canned salmon, but this feels like a bit of a missed opportunity. You know, let's go outside and get a little fresh air. Grill time. All of these have been salted and oiled already. We've got a whole filet that we're gonna lay skin side down right here. Some cubes of salmon that we've threaded onto skewers here. And here we have a soaked and preheated cedar plank that we're gonna lay another filet onto here. We're just gonna take these off as they're ready. Grilled salmon. So that shit looks fucking charred, burnt, churnt, all that. That shit look like it just went through like fucking 12 years of bullshittery. I'm not going to lie to you. So grilling salmon can be a bit tricky. It's fatty, which causes flare ups, but it's also delicate. So it's hard to move around a lot. This filet definitely got more. <laughs> Yo, the back side of the skin side of that is fucking Burnt as hell, I'm not gonna lie. Actually, Blue Rye, that's actually the texture it's supposed to do, because you actually cooked, you would actually know that. Yeah, y'all can go ahead and eat that burnt ass shit. I'm a, I'm a pass personally, but. More char than we wanted, and that skin is burnt. Inside, yeah, it's almost raw. Mmm. Yeah. This is not ideal. The burnt bits taste sooty and bitter, and the inside is kind of just warmed through. Grilling Yo, can be a Mark. great way to cook salmon, but we didn't nail this one. Cedar plank salmon. So this cedar plank kind of acted like a barrier between the intense heat of the grill and the fish, and we're hoping that the wood lent some kind of flavor here. The skin is still totally soft, and there's no browning, but we've got a nice medium to medium rare. And that shit just doesn't look cooked, you know what I'm saying? But I know you can eat raw salmon though, but it just doesn't look like it should change too much. Maybe like a tiny bit. Interior. Mm. It looks solid though. Not bad, but I'm not getting much wood flavor at all. Definitely prevent. Who the fuck cares about wood flavor? Vented flare-ups, but it also didn't add all that much. It seems more like a gimmick than anything else. Salmon kebabs. Okay, we've These got some nice solid. grill marks that, going, that but not a ton solid. of exterior caramelization. The inside, definitely on the more well-done side. Mmm, pretty tasty. Not as juicy as I'd like. These smaller pieces are way easier to overcook than a whole filet, and we weren't able to cook them long enough to get a ton of color. These would be better with some kind of glaze to speed up the browning process. Grill basket salmon. We got our grill basket. We got our oiled and salted salmon. We're gonna put it right in here. We're gonna lock it, and then we're gonna put it on our hot grill. Hold on, let the nice cook. thing about this apparatus is that it makes it easier to move the salmon around. Flip it after a couple of minutes, and she's done. You know, I'm pretty disappointed by the color we got here. The basket protected. Should look like a light skin ass salmon. Protected the skin, but maybe a bit too much. Oh, nah, the flesh that's... is nicely uh, cooked. Nah, that, that's, mm. not it. Good, that's not it. Good, but not a whole lot going it. on. This would probably be better with a larger piece of fish. Let's head back inside Yo, and make some pickled salmon. We've got our. Something about pickled. A lot of shit sounds disgusting. Our skinless fillet right here. This nigga should never come to a cookout. Bro <laughs> says it's cooked or grilled, but it's still swimming. Yeah. And we're gonna cut it into a few bite-sized chunks and get them into this jar. Then, we're gonna pour a hot mixture of vinegar, salt, and sugar over top before screwing the lid on and letting it hang out for a few hours in the fridge. So the color has changed significantly. It's very flaky, but- I'm gonna pass on those. But it doesn't feel dried out and it smells really vinegary. Mmm, yum. It Very looks like, you know, if you like leave your hand in the water, like your your fingers after you come out the shower for a long time, bro, it look like that. Tangy and sweet. It's definitely a stronger flavor. So if fishy things aren't your bag, it's not for you, but I love it. Canned salmon. Urban homesteading time. We're gonna cut our filet into six pieces, layer them into this jar with a bit of salt and a splash of vinegar and screw the lid on tight. Then we're gonna load it into this pressure canner, set it for high pressure and crank the heat. Okay, time to depressurize it. All right, now that it's cooked, depressurized and cooled, we can open it up and that's canned salmon. As you can see, the fish is fully submerged in liquid. We didn't add any of that, it's just salmon juice. It's definitely sealed, which salmon means we juice. did it right. Yeah, these salmon pieces are fully, fully cooked. Mm. 
you know, it's not bad. It's just a little dry. It has the texture of like canned tuna. I miss the moisture. But if I had a ton of salmon I didn't know what to do with, this would be a pretty efficient way to make it shelf stable. Poached salmon. Poached. We're going to season it on both sides. Chad, open our be fish fair, This isn't as bad as the other ones, though. I haven't, we have, have we seen any bad one yet? Which is full of gently simmering fish stock. Lay our filet down and cover it. Now that it's done, we're going to lift this base out and voila, poached salmon. Yes. It's worth noting that take this notes. apparatus is really Yo, meant Tim, for a done, whole man? fish. It makes it easier for the Yo, whole- Yo, Tim, shut the fuck up talking about some take notes, nigga. I'll, I'll cook this nigga. Like, what, what, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? Thing to be cooked gently and then lifted out fully intact. But our filet feels really nice, even without any browning to speak of. Ooh, it flakes really easily and it's super juicy looking. Mm. <laughs> Yo, Tim, you talking Yum. crazy right now. Coffee pot salmon. All right, bro, you're losing me a little bit, man. You're losing me a little bit, bro. I don't know what, why you want to cook salmon anywhere near a coffee pot, but you're definitely losing me a little bit. I ain't gonna hold you, but. Uh... Say you're in a hotel room and you want to cook a piece of salmon. If you wanna, if you're in a hotel room and you want salmon, nigga, go to the local like. I don't know if they got it in the hotel or you gotta walk outside, but go look for a dinner spot that serves salmon. Stop trying to cook salmon in a fucking hotel. How about that? But you got nothing to cook it with. Wrong. You've got a coffee maker. We're gonna plop our filet into this carafe with a pinch of salt. We're gonna fill the basin with water and turn this bad boy on. Well, that's a coffee pot full of salmon and water, all right. That coffee pot's forever gonna smell like salmon and bad decisions. Give this liquid a taste first. Hmm. Liquid a taste? Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna wanna make coffee in here ever again. The salmon is actually- Why would you drink salmon water? Ew. Flaking nicely. Hmm. You know, it's not terrible. And even though it lost some flavor to the water, it's still pretty tasty. Salmon Riette. We're starting with poached and chilled salmon, and we're gonna flake it into this food processor. Add a bit of mayo, some lemon juice, a pinch of salt, and then we're gonna pulse it just enough to break the salmon up. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. It looks like cat food. Salmon Riette, everybody. So this would obviously be cuter if we put it in a little mace. That is, I, I, I would throw up, dead ass. I would throw up. ...in jar and garnished it with some chives or something. On its own, it looks pretty gnarly. Mmm, gnarly. It's actually really delicious. The lemon adds some nice balance to all that richness. Salmon ice cream? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? What is, okay, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm about that. There's no reason why this should have ever came into fruition at all, bro. All right, man. All right, man. All right, bro. All right, bro. Let him cook. Hold on to your butts, people. We're making salmon ice cream. First, we need to make our ice cream base. We're gonna add cream and milk and butter to this saucepan and bring that to a simmer over medium heat. While that's working, we've got some egg yolks, sugar, and a pinch of salt, and we're gonna whisk them together until they're light and fluffy. Now that our dairy is hot, we're gonna add a bit at a time to our eggs to temper them. Now, we're gonna dump it into this blender, add about a third of our poached salmon filet, and set aside the rest for later. Buzz it up. Mmm, that's appetizing. We're gonna transfer this back to our saucepan, cook it until it's thick, and then transfer it back into this bowl, cover it with plastic wrap, and chill it until it's nice and cold. We're gonna pour it into this ice cream machine and let her rip. Now that it's almost finished, we're gonna add our flaked salmon for uh, texture, I guess. And now that it's done, we're gonna scrape it into a loaf pan and let it freeze fully until it's nice and hard. So now, now our ice cream is completely frozen. Oh my God, the chunks. Ta-da, here we have the fishy. You didn't have to do this here yourself, bro. I know you're cooking in 43 methods, but this does not have to be a method. A Sunday that ever was. I mean, it looks good, like it could be something delicious, like strawberry and not salmon. Some chunks in there. Mmm. You know, up front, it just tastes like really good ice cream with a distinctly fishy aftertaste. It's like eating ice cream while feeding your cat. Steamed salmon. We're gonna season our filet, open this bad Effort boy up, eats, and place our Effort salmon on a eats. little piece of parchment just to keep it from sticking. All right, it's been about four minutes. Lid off, scoop out our beautiful piece of steamed salmon. So no browning here, which is... I don't know about steamed salmon. I mean, there's, there's nothing wrong with having steamed salmon, but that's not, that's not me. 
to be expected this turn alerts up nigga i don't want alerts playing i don't want alerts talking during the video so i had to stop the alerts every time so you know what i'm saying like i'm trying to watch the video my nigga you know what i'm saying I, but thank you for the 100 bits though i appreciate you bro. But, uh, skin looks just like it did when it was raw cutting into it we've got a nice silky medium rare in there mm, very simple not a whole lot going on, but this would be delicious on a rice bowl or something with an assertive dipping sauce. Boiled salmon. We've got our pot of hot water here. We're gonna crank the heat, hit it with a few good pinches of salt and slide our filet in there and close the lid. And that, my friends, is boiled salmon. So compared with our other wet cooking methods, this is definitely the least delicate. It actually looks fairly nicely cooked inside. It's not over. Hmm. I don't hate it, but it would be really easy to overcook it this way. Boiling meat will always be, yo, that sounds crazy. Boiling meat will always be like a, like just insane. I'm not gonna lie. Look. Even boiling hot dogs, looking back on it, boiling hot dogs was a crazy thing to do. If I'm cooking salmon in water, I'm gonna poach or steam it for sure. You know, it's getting a little fishy in here. Let's head back outside. Campfire salmon three okay. ways. All right, let, let me cook. We've got a campfire. We've got two fillets of salmon that we've wrapped tightly in clay. We've clay. got a fillet of salmon that we've wrapped in a banana leaf that we're gonna place on top of this hot rock. And last but not least, we've got two fillets of salmon that we've wrapped up in some damp moss for some reason. And we're gonna wedge it right in here. Damn, this fire's hot. And we're gonna take these out as they're ready. Okay, banana leaf is ready. What is going on? Moss is ready? Clay is hard, so I guess this one's done too. Clay cooked salmon. So the idea here was that the right. clay would- All right, I'm good, bro. I'm good. I think the nigga just, con this had potential. This nigga just completely ruined it, bro. I don't understand why we keep having to do this, bro. Kind of hardened to create a protective layer and it definitely hardened. Let's break this open. God, I hope this clay isn't poisonous. Wow, it didn't stick to the salmon as much as I thought, just the skin. That's actually why we used two fillets so that we could have skin on both sides. The inside of the salmon is really pretty actually hmm honestly it just tastes like nicely cooked salmon but nothing special this seems like more of a party trick than anything else banana leaf salmon it's not bad looking even though it was right on that hot rock there's no crisping of the skin it just kind of steamed in there which is cool it's definitely more on the rare side hmm tastes like steamed salmon with a bit of a vegetal flavor going on from the leaf and just the tiniest hint of smoke I'd try this again. Moss covered salmon. That literally looks like fucking dog shit. Dead ass. This looks pretty scary, to be honest. I'm not sure if the moss was supposed to Nasty burn, patty. but it did. It's hard to figure out the best way to open it. Okay. All right. A lot of freaky looking parts here. Shockingly, it's not as awful inside as I thought. It's just really uneven. Mm. It tastes a little burny, even though it didn't take on any color at all. This wasn't nearly as bad as I thought, but it's a pretty terrifying way to cook salmon. You know, things are getting a little weird out here. Let's head back to the kitchen. Deep fried salmon. Okay, hold on. Time to fry. We're gonna season this filet and drop it into 360 degree oil and let it do its thing. Let them cook. Pop it out to drain, a little extra salt, deep fried salmon. The skin is nice and crispy and a crust kind of formed all the way around, which is cool. Hmm, the inside is on the more cooked side, but it's still flaking nicely. Hmm, it's like the that juice got locked in there. Hmm, it's a little greasy. Right here cooking deep shit. frying is pretty annoying, but it's definitely not a- that, that might be solid. That might be solid eats. I really gotta taste it to see what's up with Tommy. That might be solid eats. Bad way to cook salmon. Beer battered salmon. We're gonna make a quick beer batter. We've got some all purpose flour. We're seasoning with salt. We're gonna open this beer. Mmm. We're gonna add our beer and whisk it until it's the consistency of pancake batter. We're gonna season our fish, pop it into the batter, and then right into the hot oil. Ooh, crispy. This crust is beautiful. Crispy and light. My fat ass thought it was KFC. It just kinda shatters. And the fish inside looks so nice. Mmm. I love Let this. Let him cook. No, That's the one, chat. This is the one. Flaky and perfect fish sticks. Okay, we're gonna. Okay, fish sticks. Salmon fish sticks. No, this this might this this might be the one. Hold on. Let him cook. Cut this fillet into four pieces. We're gonna beat these egg whites until they're nice and foamy. Then we're gonna season our fish, dredge them in a bit of flour, then into the egg whites, and then into some breadcrumbs. Mm, we're gonna repeat with the rest yo, of the pieces. He can't and mess then this up. Drop the basket. Look at those salmon fish sticks. 
So this breadcrumb layer. Hey, if you like fish, I'm not. I don't like fish sticks, but like if you like fish sticks, that that might actually be fire. That might be something that y'all actually want to try at home. Here is denser than the batter for sure. It's a bit lower profile, but still very crisp. Mmm. Oh, a totally different eating experience from the battered fish. It's still juicy and delicious. And all that fatty Salmon goodness got trapped I'll inside. A real step up from your freezer aisle fish sticks. Air fryer salmon. We <laughs> Yo, y'all be putting everything and anything in an air fryer, bro. That's crazy. Got an air fryer. Pop it in here skin side up. Supposedly, this is just as good as frying, but I'm suspicious. So that skin is... Don't put your salmon in an air fryer. It's disappointingly flabby. It does seem like a little bit of the fat rendered, and there's a smidge of browning around the edges. Hmm. Yeah, it's totally fine. With the air frying isn't adding anything to this equation. Why break out R2-D2 when you can just cook it in a pan? Salmon skin chips. Okay. No. 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 So we've taken the skin off of a bunch of these salmon fillets, but that doesn't mean we have to throw it all out. We're going to take these pieces of skin and get them into the hot oil salmon to crisp chips, up. Salmon skin chips. A little salt, and we've got British. salmon skin chips. These are cool. No. They kind of have the texture of a pork rind or something like that. Mmm, super crunchy, mild fishy flavor. It's like isolating the best part of a crispy salmon fillet. Sous vide salmon. We're gonna okay, is that a, 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 a label maker? Is, is that a laminator? We're gonna use our vacuum sealer to suck all the air out and seal it. There, this is gonna keep the water at a consistent 115 degrees for about 40 minutes. We're gonna pop it out of this bag, it's very delicate now, get it nice and dry, and then crisp it up in a very hot pan for about a minute on each side. That crust is fairly crispy, but it's, not as crispy as our straight-up like pan here. Hold salmon, on, let honestly. me see. That looks solid. It looks solid. Inside is gorgeous, though. Mmm, so nice. The skin is nicely brown. The joint is a little. I, I like my joint cooked a little bit more, though. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. Me personally, I like my joint cooked a little bit more, but eh. it's almost custardy. I'm really happy with this result, but honestly, it's pretty fussy and definitely not better than pan seared, in my opinion. Salmon jerky. We're gonna slice our salmon into quarter inch thick slices, lots of salt, and slide it into this dehydrator for about 18 hours at 158 degrees. Ooh, salmon smells like salmon in here. That looks like jerky, all right. This might be valid. I don't know. I, I can't tell y'all. We really have to try this to see if it's valid for y'all or not. Oh, it's pretty flexible and it flakes apart easily. Definitely not as tough as beef it's jerky. Valid chat. It's so much fattier. Mmm. It's really tasty. Very salty. Definitely a smidge dried out. Again, this would be a great way no. to preserve salmon if you caught way too much of it to eat in a week. But otherwise, it's not as delicious as some of our other methods. Hair dry our salmon. We got we got like five more minutes chat on this video. Let's, let's, let's just like see what he's talking about. We're gonna season this fish a little bit on all sides. We've got our hair dryer set to high. You know, I'm really more nervous about this working than not working. I really don't like the idea of people putting something so close to their head that could actually cook their scalp. Okay, it's done, I yeah, guess. Geez. So the skin is not crisp and the inside is Rick car engine time and I mean at this point he might as well do that he, like, at this point. Mm. his immune system top well, tier like nope. I know this nigga has got at least 10 diseases off this it's warmed all the way to the core and it doesn't taste awful you know it kind of smells like burnt hair in here let's go back outside smoked salmon this salmon has been cured with salt and sugar for around 24 hours. We're gonna open up our smoker, slide our fish in skin side down, and let it smoke for about an hour and a half. Whoo, that's smoky, she's done. So the outside is darkened somewhat, and it smells amazing. Wow, there's definitely a lot of contrast between the slightly leathery exterior and this really juicy interior. Mmm, so okay. moist, that flavor is outstanding. Okay. Salty and strong, yum. Okay. Searzal salmon. We've got our Sears I thought he was about to drop his balls on the salmon. Which is basically just a modified blowtorch. Uh, We're going to cook this salmon a bit I all any of this over shit. so that it's cooked on I'll the outside and shit. completely raw inside. Very similar to the way that you would for Japanese-style tataki. Done and done. That was fast. So the skin has been crisped, and it's just barely got a suit on now. His ring's on. Pake all the way around. 
cutting in, it's totally raw inside. It's still cold, good, actually, bro. which is intentional. Mmm. Yep. I'm good it's off the tasty, raw salmon. And would be even better cut into slivers and served with a sauce of some sort. Honestly. Damn. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Chat. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Don't do it. 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 Damn. That's tough, man. He said, if y'all can't see what he said, but it says, that's why he, people be getting banned and y'all can't see him. Cause like their their messages are restricted, so it says, "Bro mods, please don't ban me. I won't do none. Please mods, I'm innocent. That was my cousin. I'll be telling y'all these ban abaters, they be real. That's why they be getting banned off rip. These are real people who have gotten banned before, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's that's why they are banned. You know what I'm saying? That's tough, nigga. My cousin did an excuse. Yeah, nigga, stop letting your cousin touch your fucking Twitch, my nigga." I prefer straight up sashimi cut into slivers and served with a sauce of some sort. Honestly, I prefer straight up sashimi, but if you're squeamish about completely raw fish, this is a good way to go. Salmon on a stick. So our campfire here is nice and hot. We've got a piece of salmon that we've wedged into this split stick, and we're just gonna hold this here, turning it every once in a while so that the smoke and the heat can this just This is caveman salmon eat. This is gonna take a while. Well, that looks done to me. Mm, definitely smells smoke. That is not look done nigga okay yeah it's pretty unevenly cooked because of the way that certain parts were insulated by the wood mm. outside's a bit dried out inside's pretty undercooked but the flavor is really nice buried salmon i who is cooking they shit like this Bear bro who is cooking they shit like this you want to go like go to a cemetery for this one Dug a pit here earlier, and then I lined it with rocks and built a fire in here that's been burning for the last few hours. Bro went back now to caveman nice era. We're gonna put this foil wrapped salmon fillet in there, bury the whole thing, and dig it up again in a few hours. All right, should be ready by now. How does he think of shit like this? Buried treasure, maybe. Ooh, oh yeah. You gonna oh. get some extra dirt with the salmon? Okay, I'm trying to not get the dirt in there because. Of... All right, so we got some dirt. Uh, cutting in. They do that in, in different cult, different cultures, or different uh, different cult. Blue Rice, stop hating on him. He's a good cook. Hey, Mario, he might be a good chef, nigga. But some of these are diabolical methods of fucking cooking, and you cannot deny that. Uh, it's actually cooked through. Mm. It's actually pretty tasty, but also this method isn't adding any unique flavor or texture, so it's kind of a whole lot of work for not that much payoff. I'm gonna pass on this one. Mailbox salmon. Okay. Somebody please explain this bullshit right here, nigga. <laughs> like, with, with bro, uh, King Cash, so well of you to assume I can't cook, nigga. Like, y'all niggas are so fucking, like, some of y'all niggas are so, like, on this nigga dick that it is fucking crazy, nigga. This nigga made ice cream and mailbox salmon. Y'all just want me sitting here and be like, oh yeah, this nigga is such a good chef. Like, I'm not saying this nigga's a horrible chef, nigga. It's just that some of these methods are insane, my nigga. That's that's what we supposed that's what we supposed to react to, nigga. Some of these methods is insane, nigga. Do you really want me to sit here and be like, damn, oh wow, wow man, amazing, wow. Mailbox, wow, mailbox him, wow, amazing, amazing. Amazing. Like, nigga, get off this nigga cock for a second, nigga. He not gonna fuck you and make you salmon, nigga. So worried about what this nigga got going on, nigga. He's not going to fuck you, nigga. Sure, so it's kind of a whole lot of work ah, for not damn. that much payoff. I'm gonna pass on this one. Mailbox salmon. This mailbox has been preheating in the sun all day, and it's pretty hot. We're gonna pop our foil-wrapped salmon into this envelope, put it into our mailbox, and check back in in a few hours. Let's unwrap this thing. Yeah, that is not cooked. It's warm in kind of a clammy handshake sort of way. The inside is totally raw. Maybe if this were August in Texas, Mail but this, this didn't do anything. I'm not gonna eat this. It's basically been sitting in the danger zone all afternoon. Hard pass. Okay, Hot at tub. least he didn't eat it. Okay. <laughs> Salmon. Alright, bro. Bro has a snorkel in the hot tub. Yeah, this salmon doesn't feel that hot. Our janky hot tub was supposed to get up to 104 degrees, but I'm not sure it got there. It probably would have to come up to a temperature that would actually injure me in order to cook the salmon, and Jesus that didn't Christ, happen. Bro. Yep, that is raw. Mm. Yep, 
raw salmon. But it was nice to take a bath at least. I don't smell like fish anymore. You know, I'm ready to head back inside. Slow baked salmon. All right, we've got our salmon. There's a little bit of salt and oil on it, and we're gonna pop it into this 275 degree oven for about 16 to 18 minutes. I know a lot minutes. of people put they uh, done salmon and in the done. Oven. The thing that I love about salmon cooked this way. Okay, yeah. I mean, if you fuck with raw salmon, I mean, this might be up your alley, but no, I'm, 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 I'm a pass. Is the way that it just kind of flakes like that. It's so soft and silky. Mm. Bro, that shit looks slimy as hell. No, I can't fuck so with it. So clean. Can't fuck with it. So easy. This is one of my favorite ways to cook salmon. It's not a whole lot to look at, but it's impossible to mess up. Roasted salmon. This time, we've increased the temperature to 400 degrees, and we're decreasing the time to five to six minutes. All right, in it goes. And there's your roasted salmon. So even with that temperature increase, it still looks very similar to our slow-baked fish. The skin is flabby, we can kind of just scrape that off. You know, it's nicely cooked, but more uneven than our slow-baked. More cooked on the outside, more rare At least there's no easy-bake oven in this video. That, I can say that. Mmm, it's very tasty, but not quite as silky as our lower temperature fish. Broiled salmon. We're gonna increase our oven temperature one more time. We've got our salted and oiled salmon, skin side up, and we're gonna pop it under the broiler for a few minutes and see what comes out on the other side. Microwave right, salmon, that looks I'll really end the stream if it's microwave salmon. With the broiler, we had really direct heat from up top, but it wasn't enough to really crisp that skin. It's more tough than crispy. Inside looks, the inside, inside looks solid. It's pretty uneven. Mm. Oh, never mind. It's no, I, fine, see this, I see the slime right here. No, never mind. Really not offering all that much. It's not better than our slow baked, nor is it as crispy as our pan seared. Not a great one. Salmon on papillote. So we wrapped this filet in parchment paper. We're gonna slide this into a 450 degree oven for about seven to eight minutes so it can steam in that little package. And it's puffed up, I think it should be done. You know, it looks a lot like our steamed salmon. The I thought that shit was flat as hell, I'm not gonna lie. flaky and coming apart nicely. Mm. I mean, it's not not. Good. I love he wants some salmon after this. Just some 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 regular chill salmon though, but not not like this. But but this method would be way better if we had some aromatics in there, some lemon slices, maybe a little white wine, some herbs. That would have really upped the ante. Salt crusted salmon. Nigga, cholesterol levels at least going up by a thousand. Cholesterol levels at least going up by a thousand, bro. I know that's not a whole bunch of salmon wrapped in uh, a whole salmon wrapped in salt. Let them cook. Cholesterol levels are going up at least by a thousand. So we've coated this salmon in a mixture of whipped egg white and kosher salt, and we're gonna bake this at 450 degrees until that crust hardens and the inside cooks. All right, that looks like it should be done. Okay, so breaking through this, this crust is here, finding the yeah, it. No, nah, this is okay. I'm not gonna lie. This is dead ass. This is dead ass disgusting. I'm not gonna hold you. Like that is crazy. It looks like cooked salmon, kind of. You're not gonna even taste the salmon. Just straight salt. Nothing to write home about. The inside is tender, a hair overcooked. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's salty and a little bit dry. This salt crust has a theatrical element to it, but it's all show and no go. All right, today we cook. Okay. Well, actually. I'm 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 a I'm a give bro. Uh, usually with the last two videos I disliked. I ain't gonna dislike this one because there were some solid there were some solid picks on here except the ice cream one. You know what I'm saying? But like that was a that was a, it was a video. You know what I'm saying? He, you know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not denying that bro can cook. He can cook when he wants to. But when he wants to use his powers for evil, he definitely does it. His immune system is on fucking Dwayne the Rock Johnson timing because I, I don't know how he does it. You know what I'm saying? Dislike it right? <laughs> oh shit.